You came for lead generation strategies that actually help you get more clients, so let's do it. My name's Alicia Crastell, and if you're all about growing your real estate business and actually having an amazing life in the process, make sure you hit subscribe so we can get started. By the end of this video, you are gonna have eight lead generation strategies that really truly work and almost all of them are free. I know they work because I've done every single one of them and they've helped me build a six figure plus real estate business and a second business and I've helped plenty of agents do the same thing with these strategies. And I really think number eight is going to surprise you. Number one is totally free and super powerful. It's changing your mindset from going, I'm looking for leads, I'm looking for business, I'm chasing leads, to I'm building relationships, I'm building conversations, and I'm looking for opportunities. You wanna treat every person you come in contact with, in conversation with, as they could potentially be your best referrer ever. Because people, when they meet you, they may not need what you have. You don't discard them. They now become a source for potential leads. Remember, each of those people know probably about 100 or more people. So that represents 100 people you could have influence over just by that one contact if you change your mindset about it. We are not chasing people. We're attracting them and getting them to want to do business with us. Number two is fear. It is the fastest, easiest source of business you have, but I'm not recommending you call and ask the typical, hey, who do you know who's gonna buy or sell real estate in the next 60 to 90 days? Er, er, we're not doing that. We're calling them or we're messaging them on Facebook and we're figuring out what their goals are. What do they have going on? And we're following up with them about those goals, helping them, sharing resources that might help them meet their goal, introducing them to people who might help them. These are deposits in your sphere. And just like a bank, you're gonna put dollars in. You don't know which dollar bills are gonna return money to you, but the more you deposit into your sphere, you will get return as in referrals eventually. You just don't know which person at what time is coming. So you have to be genuine and not care if you receive, but no, you will eventually. Your deposits with them can also look like cards of encouragement, messages to them, cheering them on, just genuinely listening to them or seeing them, especially with what's going on right now, People are not being seen. If you can see them, that is a deposit in them. Number three is so easy. It's carry a sold sign around with you wherever you go. Just tuck it in your bag or hold it under your arm like I used to do. And when people see this, they're gonna ask you, what's the sign about? And then what do you say? Whatever the truth is, you can say, my coach, I could be your coach through YouTube challenged me to do this. Sometimes they might say, what's the sign all about? Did you sell a house today? And you can say, I sell lots of houses. My other go-to response is, I care so much about selling houses, I will do anything to get it sold. And if you're an introvert like me, you can always say, I'm an introvert. This helps me get conversations about real estate and I'll do anything to be amazing at real estate. Whatever your truth is, the thing you're trying to do with that is to get a conversation. My kids used to help me carry it and people would stop me sometimes and say, can we get a picture with your sign real quick or make sure you bring your sign to the basketball game. I did get made fun of a little bit by my, my family, but I got so many conversations about it. And we all know conversations lead to clients. Number four is TikTok. And before you run, just know it only has to be a 15 second video to start your presence there. And I have a video all about TikTok and what to do, what your strategy should be, but you can do that with less than an hour a week. It is a very simple, free way to get eyeballs on you and introduce new people into your sphere and show them you know not only what real estate's about and that you're amazing at it, but you also know the area you're working. So you're gonna pull people for the local aspect and you're gonna pull people who are learning about real estate. I know this works because in the other video I mentioned, I have $1.3 million under contract right now, specifically from TikTok. And I wasn't even really trying. Let me know what area you cover by commenting below with what state and city you're in. Number five is YouTube. And yes, it takes a little more time. You have to allot a couple hours a week, three to even five hours a week when you're getting started to make these videos. One video a week, but it can be an amazing source of conversations and clients 
if you can keep consistent with it. And the most amazing thing about clients you'll get from YouTube is they already feel like they know you because they've been having these conversations with you through YouTube that they feel like they trust you and they are ready to go. They're not typically interviewing four or five agents. It's you, they want you. Six is evidence of success. And it doesn't have to be, I just listed this house, I just sold this house, we're under contract. It can be telling people on any kind of social media, short snippets about things you know about real estate, what the market's doing, what an as is contract looks like and what it means to buyers, what it means to sellers, what you're seeing in the market right now. It could look like tips. It can also look like you telling a story about a problem you helped a client solve. All of those things help people get to know you and want to have conversations about the things you're posting about. And what do conversations lead to? Clients. Number seven is something agents so overlook. It's so underrated and it's being the coordinator. You can coordinate anything from like a mom's night out, a book club weekly or monthly, an investment club, any kind of online group. Your coordination, people see you as the leader. Most people don't have the time to be coordinating all these dates, times, how people are gonna get in contact with us. They're so grateful you coordinated it and brought everyone together that they see you as the leader and you will not even have to say, hey, I do real estate. Or if you need a realtor, they're gonna say, hey, have you met Alicia? She's a realtor, she's the one that coordinated this group. I've gotten so many referrals from a mom's night out and sometimes I didn't even go. I would tell them to bring a friend or two if they wanted to, but to make sure that they're cool people. We don't want any drama here. That lets them know that you have a standard and you really want quality people around you. I never once had to initiate a real estate conversation. It was always the people around me saying, hey, you should talk to Alicia. Could even do a tailgate or a sports game where you're meeting people over and over again and having conversations and getting to know them. Number eight, is one that every single agent can and I think should be doing. And that's making time on your business schedule to do things that you actually enjoy or love. If you don't know what that activity is, you're gonna ask yourself this question. What have I not been doing that I love, I enjoy because of guilt or money or that I'm spending time away from my business and it's not actual business? This right here is a gold mine. If you're doing an activity you really like, or you really just enjoy, or you wanted to try, you are going to be around people who are your jam. They're gonna jive with you. They're also gonna get to experience who you are, whether you're a hard worker, whether you show up on time, whether you're a jerk, whether you're caring. They can see a lot just from an hour activity a week or a month with you. Over time, they'll get to know you, and not only could they possibly be a client, remember they could be an amazing referrer to you because they're gonna start developing a relationship and a feeling about you. Give yourself permission to do something you've always wanted to do or that you've been meaning to get back into because I'm telling you there are potential clients and referrers there. If you want more ideas specifically for getting listings, make sure you check out this video about getting seller leads. Make sure you hit subscribe and the little bell so you know next time I make a video to help you grow your real estate business.